Peace of Christ to all of you. Today we have a new topic. As you see, we are going to talk about space. As you see in the news title, it says, Discovery of second repeating fast radio burst raises new questions. To make it short for you, we can take your time and read what it says here, that there is a message coming from far, far, far away. <clears throat> And this message obviously is coming really from really far. I mean, it's really, really far. I, I can't explain to you how far it is. Later you will see. And international team of astronomers have discovered second, uh, you know, you can read the rest. So this is international team. This is not ethnic team, not white team, not Asian team. I mean, come on, this is international team. So we have to trust them, because it's international. I am international, by the way. <laughs> and then the, the joke continues here, saying, <clears throat> Fast radio burst, burst sorry. FRBS, look, look at this. F, fast radio burst, FRBS. That's a science. That is science. Or intense, <laughs> that's deep. Hmm brief flashes of radio frequencies emissions lasting on the order of blah 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 okay and then they tell you even how far is they give it a name by the way in case you want to talk to her this lady she is sending a message her name is two zero one nine zero five etc i i guess this is her whatsapp uh it says here that they found that this message, brother, is coming from nearly 3 billion light years. Look, they were able even, I mean, they are like the Quran. Some they say they are three and their dog is number four. Some they say they are four and their dog is number five. Some they say they are five and their dog is number six. Here. Some they say they are three billion and half a million. Some they say, I mean, nearly, listen, listen, this is true no news, nearly three billion light year. <clears throat> you see, I don't know what, what they say about technology, but to believe that there is a technology can tell you how far it's coming from, that is the most silly, stupid thing ever. Uh, uh, and we are talking about billions of years, uh, just imagine. Secondly, as long as it's a repeating message, a repeating message of a frequency, and the reason they are making a noise about it, they are assuming that this is sent by somebody. And to be sent by somebody, it has to be a machine. And to be a machine, to be able to send a message to 3 billion light year, it has to be a machine in the size of the Earth. This is a 3 billion year. You see, when you have your phone, your phone have a frequency, and the frequency is limited. If you go even sometime out of the highway, uh, or you enter an area with not, <clears throat> not a big population in it, you will have zero connection. Why? Because simply the frequency is not strong enough to reach to you. But remember, we have satellite covering the whole earth. Uh, we have antennas. It's still, there's many places, a lot of places, there is no frequency, and you cannot receive any frequency. Which means your phone will not work, your internet will not work, you will not receive phone calls. So what kind of machine can send a frequency to the distance of a 3 billion year of light, not year of travel by car or Tesla, 3 billion years of light. So the machine, the, in order to do that, it had to be a super, you know, it have the power of a not super volcano, not a super nuke. I mean, it have to be really, really something so scary and so powerful. So, how the scientists can explain that to us? For sure, they cannot. You know, those are not scientists. I I sit with many of people who work in a project of science, and they explain that they have to come with something from some from time to time in order their projects stay alive, which means receive money from the government or receive donation from the government. 
So if they could not provide something, can be considered something useful or serious, then their project will be shut down. So they come with those things. I don't believe they are true. Three billion years. Three billion years. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. Uh, maybe I'm not smart enough to understand how in the world that can be true. And what is the point if somebody sends you a new message, keeps saying number five, 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 five? It's a repeating message. Remember, it's not like you know. Uh, there is a different. Uh, obviously, a repeating message. It means something not really sent by a human. Uh, this is, can be an activities of uh, in the stars, explosion maybe. Uh, when when we mentioned before the story of the microwave, if you remember, they they made a big news about it. You can search it in the internet. Uh, in the station of the telescope, they receive repeating message every day in the same time in the morning for almost, I don't know, 20 years, or maybe less, I'm not sure, I forgot the article, but for many years. And then one day, the repeating message, which was published in the newspaper about it, scientists discuss it, news talk about it, TV station talk about it, and then they found at the end that there was a microwave the employees are using, so each time in the same day, in the same morning, in the same time, when they come to work, each one of them, he starts using the microwave, and they receive the same repeating message. It's a microwave message. So for years, they get so many interviews with those scientists who work in this uh, station, uh, analysts who are studying it, what is behind it, are we going to face alien invasion, uh, are they sending us warning? Uh, are they going to, uh, are they angry from us, you know, <laughs> UFO, let's say UFO, people go crazy. So it turned to be at the end, a microwave. So I'm thinking that this is the microwave of Allah. Allah making tea, or he receive a message here. And somebody make money from this microwave message. What do you think? Leave your comment. And tell me if you are convinced that they are receiving really any messages and it's coming from a 3 billion years light. If you are educated in this topic, please put uh, some input of your own. Because me, myself, I cannot speak of education. and I'm not a, a scientist in that field at all. But as they say, there's a common sense. 3 billion years light, light. I don't know how far that is. That's really far. I mean, I think it's far than uh, the brain of Joe Biden, which cannot be found. So leave your comment and tell me what you think. And as you see, we are going to make videos from time to time. I'm using my phone, as you see now. So just to spice our channel and give you a break from the garbage, which we focus in mostly. Thank you. God bless you and have a great day. Don't forget to leave your comment and if you can in, in, you know to contact those people and tell them did you receive any translation for this message yet or you were able to measure by meter of light how far only thank you